All right, in this video, we're going to look at while and for statements. They're actually while and for loops. And loops allow us to do some code over and over again until a certain parameter is met or not met. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to say n for our number. We're going to set that to 0. And the next thing we're going to do is our while. And we're going to say while n is less than 5. And the way we tell Python that we want to include code into a loop is we have to add this little indention. So everything that's indented the same all the way down here will be part of this while loop. Once we come back over to the end of the line here, that particular code will not be part of the loop. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to say n once we're inside of our loop, we want to add 1 to n. So n starts off, life is 0. It's going to come down here while n, so n right now is 0, that is less than 5, so it's going to come into this loop. It's going to go ahead and add 1 to n. So n is going to equal to 1 right here. It equals 1 right now. Remember we need to tab over. And we're going to say that we'll print n. And then we're going to leave it all the way over to the left this time. And we're going to say print loop over. So let's run that. Oh, we forgot our colon up here. So in our while loop, we actually need a colon at the end of our while statement here. That tells it that this is what it's going to be testing for to continue the loop. So let's run that. And we see we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's cycled through here. N is 0 while n is less than 5, so it's 0 is less than 5. We add 1 to n, n is 1. It prints 1. It comes back up to the while. n is 1, which is less than 5, so it comes back down here. It adds 1 to n, which is 2, and it continues that 3, 4, oops, 4. So it prints 4. 4 is less than 5, so it comes back down. It adds 1 to n, which is 5 now. So it goes ahead and prints 5, which is here. It comes back up. 5 is not less than 5, so it steps out and prints loops over. So that's how the while loop works. So let's say that we want to step out of this loop at a particular time. So I'm going to take this comment away. And let's say that we want to see if n is equal to 2. We want it to stop running our loop. So we do that by using break. And break tells it that if n is equal to 2, then step out of our loop and do not run any more of the loop. So when we run that, we see 1, 2, and then loop over. Because once n equals 2, break tells it to step out and continue the code that's below that. Now we can also use a keyword continue. Now with continue, it won't step out of the loop when n equals 2. It just will skip over. So when we run that, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because it actually continued. But if we move our print statement to below the if statement, now, 
once it hits this continue and this condition is true so when n equals 2 it continues it automatically jumps up to the while loop so anything below that even though it's part of the while loop will not work so when we run it this time we see 1 3 4 5 loop over it skipped 2 because once n equals 2 it hit this continue and it jumped back up to the while it never came down here and printed 2 but once n was not 2 anymore it was 3 then it didn't fit this statement this condition here so it printed 3 and 4 and 5 so continue just allows us to skip code once this condition is true or if this condition is true Now we can add, let's take this if statement out first. We can add an else part of our loop. So while n is less than 5, we print our stuff out and we can say else colon and then bring our print up here. So anytime n is not less than 5 it will print loop over and then once this else is complete it steps out of the loop so just to give you an idea of how that looks And when we run that, we see loop over outside of loop. So it comes down here. If n is equal to 5, which is not less than 5, it will jump down to our else statement, print loops over, and then it will step out of our loop and print or do whatever's below that. Now one other thing I want to look at, we can set this up as a condition. So in this particular example, let's take our value and we're gonna get an input from a user so we want this input to be a number so it's an int input and we're gonna ask them to enter a number And in this loop, we're going to use a while true. And the way this works is this is a Boolean. So while this Boolean remains true, we're going to stay in the loop. Now, we already know how to step out of a loop. We just use break. And so we need to set up some conditions for this to break or be not true. So let's go ahead and set up an our first if statement so if value is let's say less than or equal to 5 then we're gonna print less than 5 less than or equal to 5 and then we're going to ask it to enter another value so it's going to continually enter, ask us to enter a value and we're going to get a range to where if the user puts in that number then it will step out of the loop so we need to to copy this we're going to ask it to enter another value here so it's going to take our first value, test it. If it is less than or equal to 5, it's going to run this code. We're going to use an else if statement or l if value is greater than or equal to 20. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this so we don't have to retype it all and then we'll tweak it and 
greater than or equal to 20. And then we want it to enter another number if we get into this, so it can keep testing our numbers. Okay, and then we've got if either of these two are not correct, we're going to print correct. Or if either one of these two is not true, we're going to print correct. So five, three, correct. And we'll take that out of the loop. And let me clear our console out here. So enter a number, so five. It, five is less than or equal to five right here. And then it asks us to print, enter another number. So we'll enter three. It comes back up, it tests this. Three is less than or equal to five less than or equal to 5, enter another number. This time we'll step it up to 21. It says greater than or equal to 20 because 21 is greater than or equal to 20. It asks us to enter another number. And then when we enter a number that's between 6 and 19, let's say 15, didn't print correct because we need to add else break. And when we add the else break, we'll run this again. We see 5, 3, all of that's working, 21 greater than 20. And when we enter 15, we see that it's either one of these is not true, so our else break steps out of the loop. Without this break, when we do a while true loop, it doesn't actually step out of this loop. So let's go back and look at that one more time. I'm going to take this else break out, run this, and when we go straight to 15, we see it doesn't print correct because it's still in the loop. We see it's actually still running, but it's not doing anything because we didn't tell it to do anything if those were not correct. So without that break, we're actually going to end up stepping into an infinite loop. I hope that helped with the while statements and we'll go over the four loops in the next video. Thanks for watching.